，有有得做自己嘅基金。生日快乐！生日快乐 ！Sir Edward Yu Memorial Fund Happy Birthday！ Happy Birthday！ Sir Edward Yu Memorial Fund Happy Birthday！ Welcome to the 2021-2022 Sir Edward Ude Memorial Fund Awards Presentation Ceremony. The Sir Edward Ude Memorial Fund was established in 1987 to provide for and encourage the education of or research by the people of Hong Kong. Every year, the fund rewards outstanding students from senior secondary to tertiary levels with academic excellence. Fosters the spirit of lifelong learning by recognizing the personal qualities of working adults. Encourages young people who undertake technical training and apprenticeship, and promotes arts education amongst youngsters in Hong Kong. Many of the awardees have become eminent experts and prominent pillars in various fields and professional disciplines, making great contribution to our society. Ceremonies were held every year to congratulate the awardees. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, physical ceremony could not have been organized as we wish this year. Yet the need for social distancing could not bar us from showing recognition to our awardees. It is with this objective in mind that we've organized this online ceremony to congratulate over 900 awardees this year and share their joy. On the occasion of the 35th anniversary of the Sir Edward Ude Memorial Fund, we invited five past awardees and three awardees of this year to share with us their Ude stories. A university is supposed to be a place where you acquire knowledge and enrich yourself in a liberal and open setting. My advice to you is that instead of choosing something that is going to be useful, you should really pursue a subject that you feel happy about and which you really are interested in. You should really be immersing yourself in a liberal learning environment. And studying what you really like, just follow your heart. I think the financial uh, support that the fund uh, gave me is a uh, important piece uh, of uh, benefit that I obtained uh, during my PhD uh, study. I remember that when I was interviewed for uh, a position in another university, uh, they told me that uh, this is a very Uh, prestigious award, the real benefit that I'm able to get during my uh, career development. My advice uh, to uh, other young people is uh, think out of the box, try to learn as much as you can when you are still young. So don't give up, stay out of your comfort zone, try your best to achieve your target, keep on accumulating uh, experience uh, even during your failure, and uh, turn your failure into some fruitful experience for you to excel next time. Playing the violin has always been my passion, and this scholarship basically turns my hobby into my career, giving me the opportunity to study at Indiana University, broaden my horizons, and push my playing into another level. You need to have hope and、uh, have faith, and try to、uh, give all you can and、uh, try to do your very best. I'm very thankful for the fun for、uh, making my dream come true. Since I'm in academia, the goals are very clear: to create knowledge and to discover the unknown. I would like to make insightful and meaningful discovery to contribute to knowledge. I'm most grateful for the fund, which has been supporting me in previous years when I was studying.、It、gave me very substantial and、uh, continuous financial support, which I do not have to worry when I was studying. I would like to encourage us all to stay humble. No matter how good you are, there's still endless things for us to learn.、Uh, stay positive, never give up, and strive for your best. Be good to the society and people around you. Before I was at Ivy, I was studying high school, so I was building studies. 咁基本上咧學親嘅嘢咧喺地盤裏邊咧基本上係全部都應用到嘅。我覺得得到咗呢個遊得基金，資助咗我出去、呃、可能韓國啊，同埋識到好多唔同行業嘅人啦。只要其實你多啲同唔同嘅人溝通啊，問多幾步啊，咁樣就 O K 嘅。
I'm really interested in being a doctor in the public sector, relieve the pressure of both the patients and also their relatives. I think that the award really helps me a lot because I can really discover more online resources and also uh, find some reference book for me to really broaden my horizon and really investigate the, and discover the mystery of human body. I'm currently finishing my Bachelor of Science Studies. Um, I hope to conduct more research about succulent plants in countries such as Madagascar and South Africa, and I would like to find out more about their relationship with the environment. This scholarship acts as a recognition for my future goals, and also it provides me with more motivation for my further studies in order to pursue my dream. I will be studying audiological sciences with clinical practice in UCL. Uh, this program equips students with the clinical skills and knowledge to be an audiologist. So I like to expose to as many clinical settings as possible, transfer those knowledge and skills back to my practice in Hong Kong. For me as a uh, student with visual impairment, I need extra money to uh, purchase magnifying devices, to enlarge font sizes so that I could wait easier. Uh, SDYM fund uh, provides the financial backup so that I would not need to worry about the financial burden and I could focus on my academic. This fund is very resourceful, both financially and academically. For uh, someone who are ambitious student, they could uh, give it a try, try to apply to it and they will find it very useful and very helpful. Let us begin the 2021-22 Sir Edward Ude Memorial Fund Awards presentation ceremony by inviting the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Sir Edward Ude Memorial Fund, Ms. Kwan Sauha, to deliver her speech. I would like to welcome you all to the 2021-2022 Award Presentation Ceremony of the Sir Edward Yoda Memorial Fund. The fund has been established more than three decades to commemorate Sir Edward Yoda, our late governor, for his great contributions to Hong Kong and the society as a whole. I would like to express my sincere gratitude for the firm and enduring support from Lady Yoda and the Council in the past years. Since the establishment, the Fund has provided a wide range of scholarships and awards to support the young talents of Hong Kong in pursuing their goals for personal development and further studies locally and overseas. Many of our awardees have made outstanding achievements and contributions in their specific professions and areas and are prominent to the success and the growth of our society. The global financial market has been challenging since the start of the year, with most financial assets in the market post negative returns in the first half of the year. Markets remain torn between the implication of a slowing U.S. and global growth, but still high inflation that keeps global central banks on the more hawkish monetary policies. As of the end of July, valuation of the fund's investment portfolio reached more than 13.4 million U.S. The positioning of the portfolio in defensive dividend to the equities in developed market and short-dated investment-grade bonds can really help the portfolio navigate in such a turbulent times in our market. Therefore, the portfolio relatively outperformed the overall market in the first seven months of this year. In terms of economic outlook, the deceleration of global economic growth, softening energy and food commodities prices, as well as easing of supply chain problems should result in gradual decline in global inflationary pressures. With the base case that a recession can be avoided and inflation under control, the valuation reset for both bonds and equities year to date have improved the medium term return outlooks. In Asia, most of the emerging market has been experiencing capital outflow 
Due to strong USD and US rate hike, Asian central banks, especially the mainland, tend to have more pro-growth policies compared to developed markets. While normalization of supply chain and pro-COVID reopening should support economic growth. In collaboration with our investment manager, the Board of Trustees will continue to stay watchful on the market development and will strive to achieve a satisfactory performance of the fund amidst the volatility. Cultivating talent in an integral part of supporting the development of society in the midst of the rapid development of new technologies and the ever-changing global landscape. Only continuous learning and upskilling can maintain the long-term competitiveness of our economy and talents. Apart from equipping themselves with a broad base of knowledge, we also expect that our next young generation would uphold the core values and gear to meet the challenges from the society, the world and the future. Over the past 35 years, the fund has enabled numerous students to continue their studies and develop their potentials. Hong Kong will prosper only when its young people developed. Last but not least, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I would like to congratulate all the awardees for their outstanding achievement and remarkable personal growth. Thank you. Now we have the Chairman of the Sir Edward Yude Memorial Fund Council, Mr. Ma Ching Chang, to deliver his speech. I'm very delighted to share my joy in joining a celebration of the 35th anniversary of the Sir Edward Yield Memorial Fund. On this occasion, I would like to extend my sincere congratulations to our awardees for your prominent achievements. COVID-19 is indeed a global challenge and has without a doubt vastly changed our way of living. Nonetheless, innovations and technology has been playing a significant role in helping us resume our normal way of life to a certain extent. By now, students have gotten used to the online learning mode while video conferencing tools are now indispensable in the workplace. Soaring demands for online shopping and food delivery service mark a drastic change in consumer habits. What I'm trying to say here is that adversity can often be turned into opportunities. And education is the most meaningful and rewarding investment for bringing advancement to our society. Since its inception, the Sir Edward Yield Memorial Funds has been providing staunch support to outstanding students and young talents of Hong Kong to achieve their goals and pursue their dreams. Over the past 35 years, over 28,000 scholarships and awards have been granted under the eight scholarship scheme of the fund. Many of our awardees are now holding key positions in academic, professional and business sector and making great contribution to our society. On this special occasion, I wish to congratulate our awardees and encourage them to continue to excel in their studies and professions. For those who pursue the study abroad, they are indeed ambassadors of Hong Kong who can promote the unique and diverse culture of our wonderful city to the international community. And I'm happy that the fund has made such opportunity accessible to them. Taking this opportunities, I wish to extend my heartfelt gratitude to Lady Yod for her wholehearted contributions to the funds over the past 35 years. My sincere thanks goes also to my colleagues on board of trustees 
and the Council for their devotions and dedications. I would also like to express my gratitude to schools, universities, and institutions for their tireless support to the funds all along. May I wish our awardees every success in the year to come. The first awards to be announced are the Sir Edward Ude Memorial Fellowships and Scholarships for Overseas Studies. These awards are presented to students who pursue overseas postgraduate or undergraduate studies in 2022-23. The Council selected two outstanding students from more than 240 applicants to receive the Fellowship for Overseas Studies and the Overseas Fellowship for Disabled Students, respectively. The awardee of the 2022-23 Sir Edward Ude Memorial Fellowship for Overseas Studies is Wong Lokhang, Amos, New York University. And the awardee for the Sir Edward Ude Memorial Overseas Fellowship for Disabled Students is Lam Ju Chung, University College London. The next awards are the Sir Edward Ude Memorial Fellowships for Local Studies. This fellowship scheme aims at encouraging Hong Kong students to pursue research at local higher education institutions and commending students on their excellent academic performance. In 2021-22, three postgraduate research students were selected to receive the fellowships. The awardees are Lam Hao Wai, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Chan Chi Him, the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, Chu Sai Ting, the University of Hong Kong. The following awards to be announced are the Sir Edward Ude Memorial Scholarships for Local Studies. This scholarship scheme aims at recognizing the excellent academic achievements of full-time undergraduate and diploma students at post-secondary and tertiary levels in Hong Kong. The 2021-22, six post-secondary students were selected to receive the scholarships. The awardees are Lam Liman, Maggie, Lao Chi Chang, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Chao Yin Hong, the Education University of Hong Kong, Wang Ka Ki, the Hong Kong Academy for Performing Arts, Chao Chi Cheng, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, Lung Ko Tsun, the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. We're now presenting the Sir Edward Yude Memorial Scholarship for Disabled Students. This scholarship scheme aims at encouraging and assisting full-time disabled students to pursue undergraduate and diploma programs in Hong Kong, as well as commending students on their excellent academic performance. The awardee in 2021-22 is Ko Wenpin Mark, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Among students who achieved outstanding results in the Hong Kong Diploma of Secondary Education Examination 2021, Six students were selected to receive the Sir Edward Ude Memorial Medals. Apart from a certificate and a cash prize, each student will also receive a Sir Edward Ude Memorial Medal. The awardees in 2021 are Chan Hoi Ying, Emily, Diocesan Girls School, Ng mm, Jerry, Munson College, Chow, Mingnam, Queens College, Lao Chi Chang, Sacred Heart, Kenosian College, Yu Serena Sheng Wing at St. Mary's Kenosian College, Kwong Ho To, St. Paul's College, Sir Edward Yude Memorial Awards for Self Improvement for Working Adults aim at praising the working adults for their perseverance, diligence, and spirit of life learning. In 2021-22, there are five awardees. The awardees are Lee Jennifer nominated by the Construction Industry Council, Chan Wai King, Ho Man Ho, Wu Sum Yen, and Yip Chuck Sheng, nominated by the Employees Retraining Board. Sir Edward Yude Memorial Outstanding Apprentice Awards aim at complementing registered apprentices for their extraordinary working performance and diligence to pursue self-enhancement. The award-winning apprentices are nominated by the Vocational Trainings Council. The awardees in 2021-22 are Kwok King Lung, Lung Kin Fung, Wang Chun Pyu. Now we're going to announce the awardees for the Sir Edward Yude Memorial Prizes for senior secondary school students. 
Being senior students from local secondary schools and the Youth College of the Vocational Training Council who have excelled academically and participated actively in extracurricular activities in schools or in community services. These awardees are students from the Youth College of the Vocational Training Council. These awardees are from senior secondary schools in Central and Western District, Eastern District, Southern District, Wan Chai District, Kowloon City District. Kuang Tong District, Yao Tsim Mong District. Sham Shui Po District, Wang Tai Sin District. Kuai Tsing District, Islands District, Sai Kung District. North District, Shatin District, Taipo District, Tuen Wan District, Tuen Man District. Yen Long District, we are very honored to have Lady Yu to share a message with us.
as a founding member of the Board of Trustees and the Council. I take great pleasure and pride in celebrating the 35th anniversary of the Sir Edward Ewood Memorial Fund. On this special occasion, I would like to congratulate everyone who has received an award this year. COVID-19 has ravaged the world for more than two years and has brought about immense changes to the lives of everyone. Stringent social distancing and quarantine measures have made interaction almost impossible. Students have had to stay at home for online lessons, which have posed unprecedented challenges to schools, teachers, students, and parents who care about the quality of education. Fortunately, with the concerted efforts of scientists and medical practitioners in developing new vaccines to combat the pandemic, we are gradually getting our daily social activities back on track. Medical advancement and technological achievement have once again reminded us of the importance of education, which not only keeps the machinery of our society working, but more importantly, saves millions of lives. I would like to take this opportunity to extend my warmest regards to our awardees who have made endless efforts to strive for academic excellence despite the challenges brought by the pandemic. Since its establishment in 1987, the Fund has been encouraging the younger generation at different levels of academic attainment to fulfil their ambitions. To this end, the Fund has so far dispersed over $260 million. More than 827,000 students received our awards or joined our sponsored activities. Each year, some 900 students are offered scholarships awards under the Fund to pursue their goals and embark on their educational journeys or professional paths. The continued success of the Fund is due to the efforts and valuable advice from members of the Board of Trustees and the Council. I would like to express my sincerest appreciation for their unfailing support and commitment. My special thanks also go to the members of our selection boards who generously share their professional knowledge and expertise to select the most deserving candidates. I would also like to thank the committee and mentors of the Sir Edward Ewood Scholars Association for their support and encouragement to present and new members during these difficult times. Once again, may I congratulate all awardees and send you my very best wishes for the future. Sir Edward Ewood Scholars Association has been established for 30 years since 1992. It is dedicated to connecting awardees of various Sir Edward Ewood Memorial Awards and establishing a platform for them to interact and further contribute to society with hand-in-hand -hand efforts. In particular, the association introduced a mentorship scheme called Chapter 10. Through invaluable experience and constructive suggestions shared by senior Uters, newly joined Uters could leverage the scheme to realize their aspirations and career blueprint. On the occasion of the 30th anniversary of Sir Edward Ewood Scholars Association, we have the pleasure to have the President of the Executive Committee of the Association, Mr. Lam Ho Chung, Jason, to share a message with us. Dear awardees, first and foremost, I'd like to extend my warmest welcome to all of you to this exclusive family, where the recipients of the Sir Edward Ewood Memorial Awards gather. It is truly my pleasure to greet you here, to appreciate your past efforts in academic, community service, leadership and other esteemed qualities. Yet, this award means a lot more than putting another trophy on the shelf. Receiving the award may have marked the end of the tough year, but let's look forward. It could also be the beginning of a new journey. With all the honours you receive, the commendable characters recognised by others, you bear the duty and certainly have the potential to serve the community. This is why the Sir Edward Yu Scholars Association was established in 1992. It is a platform for members from diversified backgrounds and specializations to connect, express, and discuss their views on various issues intellectually, and most importantly, for the improvement of their society. Your talents and ideas could be put into concrete actions for bringing valuable impact and positive influence to our community. In the past 30 years, 
So Every Youth Scholars Association has built up a network of a myriad of talents, with youngsters participating in top positions in different fields and professions. The doors of opportunities are now open for you exclusively to achieve high goals. So join us today if you haven't confirmed the membership. It is a place for you to blossom, to broaden your horizons, and to give back to the community. I look forward to meeting you in the next association event. Thank you very much. I wish you all a bright future ahead. Here comes to the end of the 2021-22 Sir Edward Ude Memorial Fund Awards Presentation Ceremony. The Board of Trustees and the Council of the Sir Edward Ude Memorial Fund would like to express the deepest gratitude to all of you again for witnessing the outstanding achievements of the awardees. Thank you for joining us.